Hey folks, thanks so much for joining us and welcome. My name is Nick and I have the pleasure of introducing our new Getting Started with Security Command Center content. Uh, inside of this presentation, you're gonna have a ton of resources that are thrown at you, all of which are free, can be accessed at any time. Uh, so with that being said, I wanna mention really quick, don't stress about getting all the hyperlinks that we mention here. At the end of this recorded session, we're going to put together a post that will live in our community that we will jump into a little bit later. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. It'll all live there. All the information will be there. So with that being said, let's jump straight in really quick with an intro. My name is Nick. I'm a customer success manager here at Google. I've been here for about three years, and it is my job to make sure that you, our customers, partners, have access to all the enablement resources that are available to you so you guys can have success with our products. So the main goals of this session are fairly simple. I want you guys to know how to get help with your technical questions or any issues that may pop up. I want you guys to learn about the resources that are available to you at any time on demand. And then also I want you guys to know where to get the latest product release information. And then lastly, how to get connected with some of your peers in the security community, as well as some of the experts that are in there as well. So our documentation uh, we've poured hundreds and hundreds of hours into this documentation to make sure it's as comprehensive as humanly possible. Inside of this documentation, you'll find FAQs, uh, security command center fundamentals, and then overall just generic product information. Again, we'll have all the links in the community post to follow, so don't stress about that, but you can click on that link and it all can be found there. So uh, the next thing I want to touch on is some of the events that are now coming soon. We're going to be having things like uh, community meetups where you can rub shoulders with some of your peers and other experts in the security industry as a whole. We'll be doing more of these webinars. Uh, we'll be doing how-to series, additional events that will be coming as well, and we'll all live in the community. And then lastly, just engage with some of the other security command center customers and experts inside of the community. We have forum posts. Uh, we've got blog posts to help educate you guys as well. So I highly recommend jumping into that. There's a ton of great value that you will find inside the community. So first I wanna jump in, we're gonna talk about the security command center documentation and support. There are hours and hours and hours you could spend diving through this uh, documentation that exists out there, but I really wanna focus on a couple of main places to start. The first being accessing the Security Command Center guides. Here's where you're gonna find step-by-step -step instructions on setting up Security Command Center, optimizing Security Command Center. Uh, there's even some examples and even further uh, detailed how-to guides that jump off of this space here. So it's highlighted by the green box there. Once you click on that link, you click on guides. And then on the left-hand side, there's a, a myriad of different guides that you guys can navigate uh, at your own pace. Next, I want to talk a little bit about how to reach support. Again, in that same space highlighted by the red box at the top is the support tab. You'll jump in there. There's how to get support. There's troubleshooting if it's just a simple problem, or maybe you're getting an error message. There's documents that walk you through all of those items. Uh, I highly encourage you to get familiar with this. So if any issues arise, you know where to start. And then lastly, just general resources across the board. Maybe you have questions about pricing or uh, what do quotas and limits look like, or where are the latest release notes? That's all gonna be in our generic resources tab. It's in the same link. And then again, highlighted by the red box, accessible at any time to you on demand. You can take all this information at your own pace. If you have a new team member, I highly recommend sharing all this information with them. Share the community post that we're gonna be posting after this call that has all these resources linked so that everybody can have as much success as possible when utilizing our security command center. So the next resource is personally my favorite. Security Command Center now has a 13 part series on YouTube that's obviously accessible at any time. The series is called Getting Started with Security Command Center. And inside of the series, we talk about different services that the platform offers. And that includes event threat detection, web security scanner, data loss prevention, all of those things that will help you further secure your applications. And again, you can visit that YouTube playlist via the link there and jump in whenever you're ready. 
So last I want to cover here is our security community. Uh, the reason the security community exists today is that we really wanted to create a trusted and vibrant hub that all of our customers and experts can jump into, make meaningful connections, mostly share some use cases, get some ideas, build some skills that you may not already have or help others build skills that you do have. Inside the community, you'll find things like our product discussion forum. It's where you guys can jump in, ask questions at any time. Googlers such as myself answer the questions. Other cu customers can jump in and answer the questions. It's a great place to connect with like-minded individuals who may be working on the exact same project as you. Uh, next, we have our community blogs. This is where uh, leadership and uh, some of the experts that we work with will post technical content, and that goes for all of Google Cloud. You can access this at any time. Tons of really cool articles, blog posts in there. Highly recommend taking a look at that. And last, we've got our uh, Ask Me Anythings and our Quick Takes. So this is a, a motion that we're working on right now. We want to have our Google product managers and customer success managers and customer engineers interact with you guys in real time via an Ask Me Anything series. And um, you, we'll have tons of information coming on that. We'll have lots of uh, lead time, so don't stress about that. And then additionally, Quick Takes is a video series that is going to highlight specific product features as they launch, um, additional product launches, and all the events under 10 minutes so it's digestible and you can share it with anybody at any time. So really quick, want to cho show you guys how to get connected into that security community. You'll just go to googlecloudcommunity.com. You'll click on login in the top right corner, and you will be prompted with the next page here, which is just create an account. You do not have to have a Google account to sign up for the community. You can use any username, password that you like. Um, we just ask, of course, that you're respectful at all times inside of the community. And once you're logged in, I'm actually going to show you guys in live time a little bit what it looks like. So this is our security command, or I'm sorry, our security community. When you're logged in, this is what it looks like. You'll see your avatar in the top right corner there. It'll say the, uh, the Google Cloud community, welcome back, and then your username. And if you scroll down on the homepage just a little bit, you'll see the security section. You can click on that. And once that loads, you'll see... The, it puts you directly into all of our forum questions. So these are questions that anybody can ask at any time. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of incredible information to be found in here. You can sort by most viewed, vote, most commented, uh, most liked. There's all kinds of really good questions in here across all of our security products, not just Security Command Center. And you'll find you can sort by those products via the labels that are on the right-hand side here. Um, if you're curious and you want to know if a question already exists, you can use the search function. It'll search the entire board for any questions that may pertain to what you're looking for. That function works incredible. But if you see that that question hasn't been answered or you're still not sure or you just want to talk about something specific, all you got to do is click on Start a Conversation, enter in the subject of the question or comment, Fill out the body. Again, as much information you can provide, the better, so we can help you if it's a question regarding an issue or a use case. And then in order to post it, you have to select a label. So, for example, if we had a question around Security Command Center, we would just choose the Security Command Center, but you could also choose multiple labels. So if you have questions around all these different products, you can add multiple labels at any time, and then when you're done, you just hit post. So that's a very quick, down and dirty uh, example of what the security community looks like today. There is unbelievable amounts of resources. You've heard me say it 68 times so far. Get jo Join the community. That's our first next step. Sign up, engage with the security community, jump in with others, and get connected. The next, I want you guys to familiarize yourself with the support documentation, the how-to guides that exist. And then lastly, following that how-to guide of setting up the Security Command Center. I am super grateful for your guys' time. If you have any other questions or there's any issues that arise that you may have, please find us, find myself. You'll see me in the security community a lot. Find us in the community, join us, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.